Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we are going to talk about the Mississippi River and what's going on with it and whether or not it's the same sort of situation as uh, Lake Mead because that's really the question that's coming in. Um, so if you don't know, the Mississippi River is going dry. Cue the music. Um, for those that don't know, the Mississippi River is uh, 2,350 miles long. For those in, you know, pretty much the rest of the world, that's 3,780-ish kilometers. It's huge. It's huge. Because of that, it is more susceptible to impacts from the climate because there are so many places that run into it. Uh, but before we get into that, go over just a brief overview of how unique the situation is. There are islands in the river that are now accessible by foot, one of which is Tower Rock. I read something that said you could walk to it now without getting your feet wet or muddy. This is a feature that is normally only accessible by boat. So yeah, the river has dropped quite a bit. In Chester, Illinois, the gauge read zero, water level of zero. On Monday, the uh, water levels were the lowest on record in Memphis. The levels are low enough to be impacting shipping, which is less than ideal for our ongoing supply chain issues because the Mississippi River moves a lot of cargo. Okay, so... Is it the same type of situation? Yes and no. Um, because the Mississippi has so much stuff drain into it, the eastern edge of the drought that is impacting Lake Mead is also impacting states that would normally have water feeding the Mississippi. So that in and of itself lowers the water levels a little bit. At the same time, upstream, in the Ohio River Valley, there hasn't been enough precipitation. So that's lowering it. So yes, it has to do with climate. Yes, it has a little bit to do with the drought. The difference being the people that I have talked to have suggested that like worst case by spring, everything's kind of back to normal on this one. Um, it might be slightly lower if the drought out west continues because of those states that feed the river. But everything will more or less be back to normal when the snow melts. Um, there should be a bump soon because uh, the Ohio area is expected to get some rain and that should kind of uh, trickle down. So it isn't as dire a situation. It won't go on as long, but it's another sign. It's another, it's another example of major features in the United States saying, hey, this is an issue. Y'all might want to do something about this. You know, we talk about politicians being bad at messaging. The planet's not. It's super clear about what's going on, and we probably want to do something about it. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.